Hey folks, after months of rumors, Microsoft has officially revealed the Microsoft Surface Pro 10 for business. The new gadget won't be sold on Microsoft's consumer website because it is only intended for business use. It is anticipated that the standard Surface Pro 10 will be unveiled in May 2024. Now that the disclaimer has been addressed, tell us about the new Surface Pro 10 for business and how it differs from the Surface Pro 9 that came before it. Check out the main distinctions with our comparison guide. The 14th generation of Intel Core chips, the Intel Core Ultra CPU, is the largest new addition. In contrast, the Surface Pro 9 runs on CPUs from Intel's 12th generation, which are currently two generations out of date. We already know that the new Intel Core Ultra CPUs offer a significant performance gain over their predecessors because they are coming pre-installed in a number of new Windows laptops in 2024, such as the Asus ZenBook 14 OLED. Additionally, Microsoft is expanding the RAM capacity. Memory on the Surface Pro 10 for business is now up to 64 gigs, when it was just 32 gigs on the Surface Pro 9. Microsoft claims that the Intel chip in the new Surface laptop can run on a battery for up to 19 hours, and the integrated NPU also enables the laptop to benefit from extra AI functions. This location does not provide the Qualcomm chip configuration, but that is typical of Microsoft's for business line. If you're interested, keep an eye out for the release of the new Surface Pro 10 powered by Qualcomm later this year. Additionally, Microsoft claims to be preparing an Intel-powered 5G option for the Surface Pro 10 for business in the future, despite the fact that 5G was previously only available with the Qualcomm model. According to rumors, Microsoft plans to update the Surface Pro 10 for consumers to include an OLED screen, which would be a significant increase over the Surface Pro 9. Sadly, though, Microsoft did not equip the Surface Pro 10 for business with the desired OLED panel. Not that the screen department hasn't made any progress, though. With the addition of a new anti-reflective surface, viewing the Surface Pro 10 for business in direct sunlight should be much simpler. Furthermore, according to Microsoft, the screen is now 33% brighter than the Surface Pro 9. The Surface Pro's type cover is a crucial add-on that turns the Windows tablet into a portable laptop. Microsoft has changed the new type cover for the Surface Pro 10 for business in several ways for the first time in years. The most noticeable modification is the inclusion of a separate copilot button, which lets you call upon the AI-powered assistance with a single button click. Additionally, Microsoft enhanced the type cover's backlight for a stronger glow and enlarged the text dimension of the keys. The Alcantara substance remains the same. Regretfully, you will have to pay extra for the type cover, as it is still not a default feature of the Surface Pro 10 for business. Microsoft hasn't made any modifications to the chassis of the Surface Pro 10 for business in comparison to the Surface Pro 9, so anyone looking for a redesign will be disappointed. This isn't shocking because Microsoft doesn't often make significant appearance modifications to its devices between generations. Besides reducing the bezel thickness, there aren't many other things that Microsoft would probably want to make better with the Surface Pro. It is elegantly constructed of metal and comes with a convenient kickstand that is integrated into the back for easy propping. It's unlikely that the consumer version of the Surface Pro 10 will see significant appearance changes either, but the possibility of an OLED screen makes it worthwhile to wait. It may excite those who often video conference with coworkers at work that Microsoft is improving the Surface Pro 10's webcam. In order to fit more individuals into the picture at once, the new front-facing camera has a 114 degrees field of vision. Additionally, the video resolution has been increased to 1400p for more detailed capturing. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit the like button, it means a lot to me, have a nice day and God bless.